Welcome back, Eagle Nation. Joseph Swanson here with head women's soccer coach, Dennis Mullins. Welcome, Coach. Thanks, Joe. So the men got to do it last year. Uh, they went to Portugal. You get to go to Costa Rica this year. Uh, how do you feel that this is going to impact your team heading into the season, and what are you looking to get out of this trip? You know, as our roster has grown in the last couple of years uh, with my recruiting efforts, uh, I'm really excited to have this opportunity for the girls just to be together and really build on that chemistry that we've been working on the last couple of seasons. This year we're bringing in uh, girls from all over the country, literally. Uh, we've got players coming from Nevada, Washington, Idaho, um, and, and to really give these girls an opportunity to really bond and kind of build that uh, culture that we've been working so hard on. And I'm excited to have the chance to do that away from campus. I know for some of the first year players it's going to be a little stressful and a little sense of urgency because this is all new to them, but I do think they're going to have some really good role models and leaders that are uh, returning players to kind of help them through that process and get them ready. Um, you know, the off season is a chance, or excuse me, the preseason is a chance to really prepare. Uh, and I'm a little worried about the opportunity to really focus on our, our technical and tactical work, but I think the benefits of just being together and having fun and, and just learning more about each other will outweigh that, that risk. So last year's season didn't end exactly the way you wanted it to. How has this motivated you as a coach and how has this motivated your team? I know through spring workouts last year, how has this motivated them heading into this year? Well, I think uh, the most important lesson for me, and I hope the girls took this as well, is to, to not take anything for granted. You know, we went into that championship match last season against an opponent that we had beaten pretty handily in the regular season. And I don't want to say we were looking past them, but I think we uh, just expected to win. So that disappointment hit a little bit harder, of course, uh, getting that close. So I hope that everyone realizes that we don't take our foot off the gas pedal. You know, we need to keep pushing, keep getting better as the season goes on and really make sure we close out the year on a high note this year. That's the goal, of course, to win that championship. You return a big core of last year's team. I mean, almost your entire offense comes back, a big quarter of your defense, including player of the year, defensive player of the year, and even rookie of the year. Um, when you look, up the, look at the makeup of your team, you averaged almost three goals a game last year. How are you looking for that continuity returning to build and carry your team further this year? Sure. Last year's emphasis, believe it or not, was to get better defensively. And uh, some of the players we brought in, I think, really helped us do that. And we did change our mentality a bit from the season before. As you know, two years ago, we led the nation in scoring. And last year, we didn't want to necessarily back off of that. We were certainly still trying to put the ball in the net, but we were, I think, better overall defensively. Now. Moving forward, obviously, some of our best players have been identified by our opponents. Whether they're in conference or out of conference, we carry a reputation of having a high-powered offense. And I think that teams are ready to kind of target in on those strengths that we carry and, and try and eliminate them. So for us, I think the target is to really diversify our attack, right? See if we can share the wealth a bit more, whether that's, you know, using target players, decoy players, whatever that might be but really trying to uh, create chances and scoring um, in, in ways that we haven't before. So that is certainly something that we'll be working on, you know, trying to create scoring chances from different positions, different angles, um, and really get more players involved in the attack. And then lastly, heading into your third full season now, you've had a lot of success in your first two years, two playoff runs, first two. What does this team need to do to bring home the NAC title at the end of the year, which is ultimately your goal, and then to get into the NCAA postseason? Sure. Uh, I think, you know, I touched on it a bit already, and it's really just we have to stay focused all the way to the end. You know, and we can't come much closer than 52 seconds away from the end, which is how our season came to it and then last year. But I really think that we just need to stay focused, uh, focus on our health, you know, uh, injuries can obviously always play a role in someone's season. Right. Uh, so being a little more preventative and careful with the player selections and making sure we're getting uh, girls rest when they need it uh, with the hopes that we can, again, extend the season and make it on to the NCAAs. I do think that had a, a bit of an impact on us at the end of last year as well. Um, 
So really trying to make sure we're, we're conservative uh, going forward and making sure we can really uh, peak at the right time. So we're going to keep focusing on those tasks and uh, try and really keep building on the team chemistry and, and bring it home this year. That's the goal. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for taking the time. Wish you the best of luck at Costa Rica. I know that'll be a fun trip for your team. And then sure. wish you the best heading into your season opener on September 1st at Emmanuel. Great. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Thank you.